someone is growing, having a phobia. Talk to me a little bit about that. So this is new, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think we're gonna see a brain soon. Um, there's a center of fear in the brain mm -hmm. called the amygdala. It's a little almond-shaped, it's coming, I know, um, structure. Mm -hmm. Amygdala means, amygdala comes from the Greek word almond. Mm -hmm. We're not exactly sure where it is in this particular picture because there are a few little almond-shaped things, but what I know is it's somehow, it's somewhere between the ears. So the amygdala is a threat detector, mm -hmm. okay? We, we're only learning about it. Right, this okay. is all new. All new. So, okay. so an Australian physician named Claire Weeks in the early 70s wrote a book called Peace from Nervous Suffering and then she wrote another one called Hope and Help for Your Nerves. Okay. She was a physician, an MD. She had no idea what the amygdala was, but she talked about panic attacks that she herself suffered as being spontaneous, out of the blue phenomenon. Like with no referent, with right. no, this is what it is that's fearing me. And she suffered them herself. I, mm -hmm. She died in 1990, I don't know if she ever knew that the amygdala existed. Right. But now we know that the amygdala is a fear detector or a threat detector. And what it does is it immediately sends us into fight or flight. Right. Without the prefrontal cortex, the thinking, executor, part of our brain being involved. This executive can't calm my amygdala, my amygdala down. The thinking comes afterwards. It doesn't come in advance, does right. that make any sense? So I'm already off. I'm already in fight or flight mm -hmm. before I give myself a chance to listen to reason.